Hi, welcome to the Sir Clicks a Lot Level 1 tutorial. Um, if you have access to this document, you can follow along what our objectives are for each level. Um, and this first link up here is very helpful if you're not sure what all the drag and drop buttons do. Um, level 1, we're just going to put a dragon inside a room that bounces around. You click on it to destroy it. And if you get all the dragons, it moves on to the next level. So in Game Maker Studio, we have some sprites. The only object I have so far is a solid, plain old wall. Um, so we're going to right click on objects and create a new object. And as always, we always name them obj underscore. And this is going to be green dragon. And we're going to choose the sprite green dragon, which is from the Dig Dug game, actually. Um, so we have events in our actions. When that dragon is first created, we want him to start moving. So we're going to say, in the event that you are created, you get to pick one of these four directions. If you pick multiple directions here, it picks one of them. And not relative, or else every... it would. Yeah, you don't want that. Uh, object green dragon. Ooh, he's not quite done. He can also do some other things. If we played the game right now, he would leave the room. So we need our green dragon to when he collides with wall he should bounce and you don't need to change anything on there so let's just go right now and build out level one and see if we can't get it to work uh, just doing that by itself so I'm gonna put some dragons in here I'm just clicking here and there under the objects tab and now under here let's get a wall and if you scroll down here there's some shortcuts I highly recommend learning two of them specifically shift control so I'm hold, holding shift and control and now I can just drag my mouse and it adds in the walls and I'll goof up a little bit there so you can see the other shortcut you should learn which is just the control key and then hold the right mouse button down and then I can just drag along and delete lots of them. So a nice fast way of doing that. Hit the check mark, control S to save, and I'm gonna hit the play button. Hey, good deal, we got some dragons. And you can't click on them yet, but they do stay inside the room and move around. So it's a good start to a game. So now let's go ahead and make it a little more interesting. This green dragon, I'm going to maximize him. He's going to have another way to interact. In the event that he gets uh, the left mouse button clicked on him, in other words, we are just going to simply destroy him. So the recycle bin. Now, make sure you choose the right one here because occasionally you'll want to choose a different one. Self always refers to whatever you're editing other refers to the other thing so if he had collided with a character of some kind other would be what he collides with in this case it is self because we want the dragon to be destroyed okay so test it again real quick make sure he does get destroyed and hey good deal I can click the dragon and he goes away however I can't see anything else and there's nothing else to do so again we need to improve our game a little bit um, we're going to add a new object, and typically objects wear a sprite as their clothing or their their uh, image. However, in this case, we're going to make an object that all it does is control things in the room. It's invisible. So I'm just going to say CTRL. This is my exception to the OBJ room rule, unless you're really particular. Then we'll do this. OBJ, CTRL, um, and I'll say level 1 dragons. So that tells me this is a controller for level one and it's doing something with the dragons. And what we want this to actually do is count the number of dragons all the time, continuously count them. And once there are no more dragons, it will send us to the next room. So when, what event do I want, when do I want this to happen? The step event means always, all the time. And typically it's 30 times per second, but I just say always. So repetitively is what the step means. Repetitively do what? 
Well, under the Control tab, we have this little octagon shape. Anytime you see an octagon shaped button, that means it's asking a question. It's an if statement. So it's a good intro to computer science here because you're learning if statements. If the number of instances is a value. So if the number of dragons is equal to zero. And you could use this construct to do a lot of things like when there's no more coins or you could say when there's less than three dragons if you only want to have to get some of them. So you can't do an if without a, without a follow-up statement. If there are no more dragons, it will do just the next step unless you put in these little triangular blocks, in which case you can put multiple things in here. Uh, but in our case, we don't need to do multiple things. We just want it to go to the next room when there's no more dragons. So when we put this in our room, all the time, it's going to be counting the number of dragons, and when there's none left, it sends us to the next room. However, it does nothing unless you put it inside a level one. So it is an object, and when you put an object in a room that doesn't have a sprite, you'll see this little uh, question mark image here. And that's fine, that just means it doesn't have a sprite, and we don't need it to have a sprite. So, uh, I predict an error is going to come up when I click all the dragons to see if you can predict what that error might be. We have level one here. Loading. Okay, we can click, 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 and... Ooh. It says there's an error in my controller where it says to send me to the next room. I expected that because I actually only have one room and it tried to send me to the next room, but I don't have a next room yet. If we go back to our design document here, Loose Dragons Level 1, he does move in a random direction on the create event. He bounces. We can click him to destroy him. And when there's no dragons, he moves on to the next level. So if you've gotten this far, nice job. You got through level one. And each level, we're going to actually have it do something completely different. This is almost a demonstration of the various things you can do in Game Maker Studio. Uh, so that's it for level one.